Is college necessary? If you're thinking about going to undergraduate or grad school, then this video is for you. I did both my undergraduate degree and I did my grad school. I did Master of Business Administration, so my MBA. And I can honestly say that for me, pretty much I used none of what I learned in either one. But either my undergrad or my MBA, I never used any of it in what I'm currently doing or even what I've done in the past six, seven years. Really any business I had to learn learn myself and learn the skills myself. I can't say school actually helped with any of that. I think if you're doing entrepreneurship, you're doing business, you're starting your own thing, you're doing filmmaking, I personally don't see much value in school. Yes, you could say like, okay, you'll meet people and, and stuff like that, which is true, you you can. It makes it easier to meet people in that way. But is it, if you're gonna go into debt and paying 150K over four years or 200K over four years, I, I mean, the, the, the amounts are really high right now. Like it's crazy how much schools cost right now. So is that war just for the people that you meet? I, I don't think so. Uh, I think there's better ways to meet people that you want to meet and develop relationships with people that you want to have relationships with than spending 150-200k. Now if you're having a scholarship or if you're basically getting it for free some way then, then I think okay then it, it might be fun to do. Like I, I wouldn't take back going back to undergrad school. Like I, I had some of the most fun four years of my life but I had a tennis scholarship so I was playing tennis, which was fun, and I just and that was a really great time while going to school and having everything paid for. So I didn't have to finish with money stress, basically. I could just focus on actually enjoying my time there. And I would do that again for sure. Like some of my best friends are are from that time period and people I still talk to now, and this is 14 years later. So I definitely don't regret that. And I would do that again in a heartbeat. Grad school was the same thing. I, I got a grad assistantship there, so that basically paid for everything. Thing, and I didn't actually owe any money when I finished so in that way it also didn't put me into debt so you can consider it potentially then if it doesn't put you into depth. I don't think getting into depth is worth it, but I probably wouldn't do my MBA again. I just felt like even with basically being for free, it felt a little bit like a waste of two years for me at least. And one of the reasons that that is is because just the stuff that we were learning just wasn't relevant to a lot of the things that I started learning in entrepreneurship or any of the skills that I actually needed. And, and that's normal because a lot of these traditional schools, things they're teaching are things that are barely relevant anymore. And because technology is changing so fast, they can't really keep up. And formal education in general has a hard time being flexible and adjusting and changing things quickly because there's so much bureaucracy bureaucracy, Jesus, and, and so many people they have to go through before they can make any type of changes. So that doesn't lend itself to be to be relevant and to teach things that people can use right when they get out of college. In general, most people that get out of college, the things that they learn, most of it they can't even use anymore. I actually think personally, if you're going to undergrad, I would just choose a major that's you're doing more because of interest. That's fun, like philosophy. That's what I did uh, because I found it interesting. So choose something that's fun and interesting to you, but you at least enjoy learning about it. The only thing that I think is worth it and obviously is a prerequisite uh, if, you, if you do it is specialized careers like engineering, doctor, all that. Also you do need to go through the formal education and all that. That's a whole different thing. But I think for business, entrepreneurship, filmmaking, there's really to me no point in doing it. And honestly, like I've kept learning after college. I feel like I've learned a lot more after college and after my MBA than I did during. I definitely spent more time studying or learning than I did during college. Because then I was just trying to do enough to pass tests, to do the homework, whatever. So I was trying to do that after I was learning skills because I was interested in learning skills or I needed them for my business. And I've done that through YouTube, online courses, coaches, whatever. And, and I've kind of always kept doing that year after year after year. And I do think that's important. I think most people People, they they do formal education like university or grad school and then they kind of never pick up a book after that and part of that it's partially schools fault in my opinion because they make learning so unfun like they don't make it motivating to learn and so I think that kind of for a lot of people that I know that I've talked to as well they said like oh, I was just over it or done with that type of learning once I finished they're like burned out and that's what you don't want you'd like school to create a habit of learning and excitement for learning but that's not the case so for me I think all the things I learned after with YouTube and courses and stuff like that actually created more excitement for learning for me than school ever did
If you think about it, that makes sense because school wasn't created to create entrepreneurs in general. It was created to create corporate employees, to, to create people that would, in a way, follow orders, be able to do the tasks assigned to them because it comes from the industrial age. Same with the 40-hour work week. That's also something that was invented back then that I, I personally don't think is as relevant anymore. So I don't think there's been a lot of changes in that space for how much things have actually changed in real life. So if you're thinking about going to grad school, undergrad, I'm not gonna say don't do it. I would advise you not to get into depth for it. I really don't think that's worth it. There's so many people after that have so much stress with paying back their student loans and everything, which it's student loans, that's its own like almost criminal empire over there. So I, I, I wouldn't recommend it if, if that's what happens. I don't think you need it to succeed in anything. If you have a scholarship, sports scholarship, you're going for soccer, tennis, you're, you're, whatever, you're doing something like that. I do think it's worth it for that because it's just a way to continue your sport. And especially in America, the universities are such a high level of sports that it's still a viable path to become professional later on if you want to. You can go through four years of college and there's lots of tennis players nowadays that go through college and then go professional and some of them get get ranked really high i know Cameron nori got up to number eight in the world so it's definitely possible so for that i would actually recommend it and also if you have a way to not get in depth i, I would recommend still undergrad just because of how much fun it is and, and you meet a lot of maybe lifelong friends there grad school is maybe at least business grad school i would probably avoid if i was you i really don't see the point of it so that would be my advice and kind of my experiences. I'd love to know what you guys think, uh, what have been your experiences going to undergrad or to grad school. Do you find that it's worth it? Do you think that you would do it again? Just let me know in the comments and I'll talk to you guys soon.